up good people it's me miss ebony v welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here thanks so much for joining me today i do hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from me if you are returning hey shit muffin all right y'all so i have another synthetic wig review for you today and as you have noticed i have been riding this outre perfect hairline melted hairline train that has been going on lately so if you've been watching my channel you know that i always talk about all the units that i always have just sitting on the shelf waiting for me to open <laughs> and review so today i'm going to be reviewing outre's julianne from the perfect hairline collection now yes julianne has been around for a little bit she actually came out earlier this year around may or june somewhere in there i know i've personally had mine since June and I'm so excited I pulled her off the shelf so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing details and styling of this unit all right y'all so here is the amazing package and as you can see I have Julianne in the color dr4 slash honey brown I love how with this packaging in the inside of the box it comes with a care guide as well as instructions on how to apply the wig the hair is absolutely beautiful straight out of the packaging with these curls and this color. This is what the hairline looks like and this is what the lace looks like on my skin. It does have this 13 by 4 parting space, a standard cap construction with the two combs on the side, one in the back and the adjustable straps as well as an elastic band. Now with this 13 by 6 parting space, we actually have parting and styling versatility, which I absolutely love. Um, so I just showed you how it would look as a middle part, but I'm definitely going to rock it as a side part, a right side part to be exact. Now I'm going to go in with my Kiss Cream Foundation in the color Rich Mahogany to tint this lace to get it to match my skin tone. I'm also going to go in with this L'Oreal Magic Root Concealer Brush around the perimeter, the edge of the lace, just so that it blends with my hairline, my edges. This cap is extremely small and I have a small to medium sized head. So that's why a lot of my edges are actually out because it was really hard keeping this cap forward, which is also the reason I decided to glue this unit down just to make sure it stays in place. Now I have been hearing about this bed head holding spray for quite some time and I finally decided to give it a try. So this is my first try with this product and I actually really do like it. I think this is gonna be my new go-to. I love how it's less messy and it actually dries pretty fast. So after quickly styling Miss Julianne, let's get into my thoughts. Now I always start with the pros, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and start with the cons because I only have like two of them. One of them is the shedding. This unit does shed, y'all. Ah, uh, you know, I wish it was another way, <laughs> but it sheds. It's not tangled though, so that's a good pro. Bars. The other con I have with this one is like the mix mismatch of curls it looked like it's fine right now but i have to keep sitting it this way now watch let me show you if i just comb it through let me show you what it does like look at this i don't know what happened in the lab somebody got lazy back there and just decided to leave this part straight and so it shows through straight like with the rest of this all nicely body waved curled and then somebody just got lazy back here like they forgot to put the curling iron back here and so it just falls straight and then it's like straggly pieces come in so that is my con the mismatch of curls so i have to keep like curling it myself <laughs> into place you know what i mean that's annoying otherwise look it'll be all lopsided because it'd be a straight straight going on right here yeah, somebody just forgot to curl it. I didn't feel like turning my 
curling iron on my flat iron so no I didn't, I didn't even bother <laughs> now let's get into the pros because <sighs> this gel now I can see and witness what all the hype was with this baby right here because she is beautiful oh my god we got the little swoop bang oh. This hair is so gorgeous, y'all. You already know I'm here for the texture. Give me the yak any day. Nice yakky texture, y'all. This is that good natural texture. Oh, it's so pretty. This color, I don't think I've had this color either. I always say that <laughs> and then I'll be like, did I? I don't think, like I really can never remember, but I don't think I've had this dr4 honey brown i really can't recall i love it nonetheless <laughs> this color is gorgeous and it has like some little hints of blonde in there so you get the little honey brown and then you get some peaks of the blonde like this hair is this color like outray oh you hired the right people in that color department you might want to reevaluate, do a performance evaluation on the curling department because this is not the first time I've experienced this with your curls now. Gotta get this curl together. But color department, they need a promotion. So this unit also has HD transparent lace, which of course we know is usually light. So once I tinted her to, you know, mesh my own skin tone, I didn't have any troubles melting her down. I only melted the middle section. Um, I did not melt the sides, but of course I camouflaged the sides anyway. Another thing I love is this 13 by 6. Every time I hear 13 by 6, I get so excited. Like that extra two inches, you know, versus the 13 by 4 that we used to always get. That 13 by 6, ooh. It brings me joy. I love when I get a 13 by 6. And you saw how I was able to part her in the middle. You can part her on the side. You can do a little half up, half down. You, styles are endless. You can do some little braiding situation going on up here. Whatever you desire, you have options. Like, it is that versatile. I mean, I could sit here and part it right now. I'm not going to do it right now. If you want to see some additional styles, stay tuned to the end. I will put some additional styles at the end of the video. Okay? And since I'm going to do that, I'm going to go ahead and give you my 360 now. So you can see this baby all the way around. So here we are on the sides. And there she is. All the way around. Beautiful, y'all. I mean, I absolutely love this hair. Like, this is about to be a new fade for a while. While everybody else is like already done and tired of wearing her i'm just bringing her out and i'm ready for her now <laughs> everybody like oh yeah i'm over her like i haven't been there done that i've already worn her <laughs> well not i all right so the price of this wig is in that 50 dollars range yeah that's definitely on the higher side it's like that across the board everywhere i've seen so as always i will leave a link down in the description box below of various shopping options if you're interested. So I forgot to talk about the hairline. Since it is the perfect hairline, it does claim to come pre-plucked and I can actually agree with this one. I think the hairline on this is very natural looking. Um, I did show you a little bit before and I kind of removed that baby hair that was here because it was kind of getting on my nerves. Um, but I think the hairline is pretty natural for the most part. Um, I think they did a real good job with this hairline. This hair is gorgeous, y'all. Like, I can't even stop playing with it. And it's so full. Like, it's excellent density, y'all. This is some great density. Now, this is like the perfect weather to wear this because, what I say? I think this came out in like May. And it was like starting to warm up around then, I think. I don't think this is a good summer wig. You definitely gonna wanna pull this out in the cold months. I feel like if it was summer, it might be a little too much for me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's really all I have on Miss Julianne. I am so excited. I finally got to her, y'all. Let me know what you all think about Miss Julianne down in the comments below. Let's go ahead and chat about her. I thank you all so, so much for watching. As always, 
truly truly appreciate it please be sure to thumbs up this video hit that subscribe button if you have not and i'll be sure to catch you guys in the next video Bye,